of representatives on the issue of the budget let's get more now on this matter where is the budget 2017 as presented to the national assembly you remember that budget when it was presented the president said it was a budget of recovery let's see just how much work has been done from the point of view of the National Assembly, the spokesperson of the House of Representatives, Honorable uh, Namdas, uh, Abdul Razak Namdas, joins us via telephone. Many thanks for coming on the program tonight. Give us uh, an understanding and an insider view on what has been happening to the budget since it was presented to the National Assembly. Are we going to be seeing a much more faster passage of the budget this time around? Yeah, yeah. So we are going to have a very transparent uh, kind of budget that uh, people will see. Uh, it is such that we all have learned from our mistakes. We have added experience, and uh, those are the we are short Nigerians. We have started, and you know, the budget is a process. Uh, I can tell you right now, we have not had debate on the general principles of the debate of the budget. Because right now we have to wait so that we are the MTF with the pass. And that if the MTF is passed, and uh, hopefully it will be late on Tuesday, and by Wednesday we expect that it will pass before we start to discuss on the general principle of the 2017 budget. Uh, the, the leadership of the National Assembly has made some promises about its own budget and how transparent it will be in budget process. First and foremost, some Nigerians are disappointed that up to now we just see one liner in the budget of the National Assembly. There are no details about the budget of the National Assembly. Will the National Assembly this time around, like you said, you are now more experienced uh, as a body and you've learned from the past, especially with that very interesting scenario and drama which played out last time. Will the National Assembly be opening up its own budget to show that this time around it is transparent? Uh, uh, sure, I can tell you that we have civil societies that have been coming around that have been telling what we've been doing. We also used to have public uh, hearing. We also used to have interaction with agencies and ministries. Uh, when this thing is distributed at the committee level uh, by the appropriation committee, we have the questions. And uh, I can assure you that the budget of the National Assembly will be made there just as the speaker promised. Uh, so let me tell you, uh, we have said it without number. That in this National Assembly, it is not only the legislators, because people will be calling the 360, the We have constantly said that the budget. Uh, well, we've not been having a very good day with uh, the network there. I just, uh, I mean, I wish we had you face-to-face uh, uh, -face because I was going to ask you, I understand now that there are deliveries of uh, vehicles to the National Assembly when we're talking about recession. But the network is not going to allow us to do that. We give that um, a rest for now. Uh, let's take a look closer to uh, the issue situation between the National Assembly uh, and, of course, uh, the executive, the lawmakers, and what is playing out between the two arms of the government. Several appointments and propositions have been rejected or returned as a case uh, had panned out in the past week. Uh, to the executive and the presidency, which uh, uh, has caught a lot of question about what is happening, especially when you have an APC-dominated executive and an APC-dominated National Assembly. What is the future of the relationship between these two arms of government? Well, if you are able to... Um, get reconnect uh, and get contact with honorable namdas who will surely bring him back but let's uh, uh, get our guest talking in the studio we'll take a moment and uh, talk about this matter with my guest benga onitilo is a policy analyst many thanks for coming on the program for having me around again. we've seen it it's that uh, i've been mean, two over two years of a very interesting relationship between the executive and the national assembly especially when it comes to the issue of budget what do you see happening in the coming days on this budget they said they've learned lots of people have said look they, they will be smarter this time around to play around uh, some of the allegations uh, that have been raised over the budget. What do you see that will pan out this time around on the 2017 budget? Uh, thank you, Shiv. Um So far, we, from what we have seen so far, uh, there is a, the part of the 
uh, fiscal strategy documents and also the midterm expenditure framework, which they have to run through and get uh, have it appropriated for us before they move into the consideration of the issues within the budget proper. Um, like the spokesperson of the as the National Assembly has said, he said they've learned better. And I'm wondering what has changed between our budgeting process between 2016 and 2017. If you look at it, nothing really has changed. Really? It's still the same enveloping kind of budget. No, no, no. We, as, we I mean, the, the, not, the executive has said it's a zero budget process. It's a zero budget from what we have system. Seen, well, from what we have seen so far, from all the items we've seen so far, we still see our recurrence still very high. Our, our capital projects, not so much, is um, um, allocated for capital projects. The bulk of it still borders around recurrent projects. How when easy, how easy is it, uh, for example, uh, for you to have a dramatic shift in the way your recurrent and your capital pans out, especially in the situation where you've ha you have uh, somewhat an overbloated uh, civil service and overbloated personnel uh, running the civil service in the country? Uh, uh, it starts with the transparency of governor of governance. It starts with transparency and high-level fiscal discipline. For example, you can see, um, just for example, you see uh, an allocation that was appropriate to um, sewage disposal in Aso Rock in 2016 was about over 6 million. This year, 2017, it has moved to over 54 million naira. And you're wondering as well, what has changed, really? In a, because zero budgeting has nothing to do with you um, doing an enveloping kind of budgeting. I mean, one, one for a moment, when yeah. the National Assembly says they've learned a lot of lessons yeah. uh, on the side of the executive, uh, yeah. one would think that there should be some lessons also learned in terms of the president that said, look, this time around, I will not allow anybody part the budget, uh, look, at least look, from the executive point of view. If we look at what we have seen in 2017, this budget is already a pilot budget. Really? Yeah, yeah it's already a pilot budget. When you look at the key issues in an economy, Number one, education. How much did we appropriate to education? How much did we appropriate to the health sector? How much did we appropriate to security? Those are the three principal key drivers to move any economy from where it is to where it ought to be. But this time around, we're... Uh, we, 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 it's we, still the same or same. It's still the same or same. Right, because, Mega, uh, just a moment. We take a moment. And when we return more on the future of the relationship between the two arms of government, don't forget... The, uh, the executive says they will shut down the Abuja airport. The National Assembly says do not do it. What happens in the coming days? Very interesting times. Right. Join us again.